What's up everyone? This is Paul Rezai. E. I'm doing a whole body cryotherapy session today. It's recommended to me by some of my friends and other trainers. So I'm going to give it a try, see how it goes. I'm going to check my blood pressure before I go in. If you don't know what cryotherapy is, you're about to find out. Right. All right. So we're using liquid nitrogen in a vapor form to lower the air temperature around you to about minus 160 Celsius. So when the air temperature gets to be about minus 110 Celsius or minus 166 Fahrenheit, actually we're gonna freeze the top eighth of a millimeter of your skin. And that's where the cold sensors are located in the skin. So when those cold sensors get frozen, the skin being the largest organ in the human body tells the brain, hey brain, the body's freezing to death. These temperatures are too extreme. You can't fight this like you would an ice bath. So it says, the brain says, okay, well, we're gonna to try to preserve the body as best we can since it's in jeopardy of freezing to death. <clears throat> so it recalls as much blood out of the extremities as it can. With that will come inflammation that's in the joints, um, white blood cells that are around an injured or infected area, lactic acid that may be built up in the muscles. It will all come with that blood. And the brain will circulate that blood around the core because what it does is it constricts the blood vessels and it constricts the muscles and makes it impossible for blood to pump back out to the extremities. So that blood just sits there and oxygenates in the lungs and filters in the kidneys for two minutes or so. And when you get out, you're gonna get basal dilation, the veins are gonna open up, and that oxygenated, filtered blood is gonna go back out to your extremities. That's what's gonna hit your fatigued muscles, so it's gonna hit an injured area. And so although we're not healing the body, we're creating the best set of conditions in the body for it to be able to heal itself. So <clears throat> when you get in, it's gonna be very cold. Um, you're going to have a couple of areas in your body that probably get colder than most because of low blood flow and thin skin in your forearms, the butt cheeks, and the Achilles area. So when they want me to wear socks on my feet, socks on my hands, and one more sock. <laughs> we call it the, the golden sock. The golden yeah. sock. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, so Paul, we're going to step out and you're going to take everything off. Get all your five socks on, get into the chamber, ring the bell, and when you're ready, we will come in and run your session. Okay? All right. <laughs> Paul is about ready to do his three-minute cryotherapy session. You ready, Paul? It's not ready. already on? Huh? No. no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all right, Paul, you got this. Let me tell you what you can do. All right, do not hold your arms down by your side. Put them away from you just a little bit so that we get good airflow all throughout the body and we're not creating any microclimates. Tilt your head back just a little bit. Okay, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. In order to keep your hands the warmest, I would put them in a ball instead of out, okay? Now you're slowly gonna start to rotate like a rotisserie chicken. Just move your feet real slow. And that's just so that you can get a nice, even coldness all throughout the body. Okay? We're going to focus, focus on the music, focus on your breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth. You're doing terrific, Paul. Feeling good? Yeah. Okay, just want to hold it fine. Just the second part. Once your body breathes, it'll be okay. Okay, can you give a little bit more time? You're one minute into it, Paul. Two minutes to go. It's cold. It feels good. 100 seconds left, Paul. You're doing great. Halfway. Halfway done. You got this. Just start to feel a little bit easier by this point. We're on the downhill now, Paul. 73 seconds left. Two minutes complete. One minute to go. Okay, generally what we hear from people are uh, four typical reactions. You're going to have an adrenaline release. So for the next couple, two, three, four hours, you're going to have uh, increased levels of energy. Uh, you're getting a massive endorphin release over the next hour. All right, so any aches and pains that you've got, the edge is going to come off. But what more importantly is that triggers your body's own anti-inflammatory process is the endorphin release. Uh, third thing is, as we mentioned, the, the calorie burn. So you're liable to be hungry, likely to be hungry in the next uh, two hours or so. Go ahead and eat because you're, it's, you've already burned it essentially, or you're gonna be burning it. The fourth thing is, we're shocking the body pretty good and making it work hard to normalize itself. So you're gonna sleep very soundly tonight. So if you have to get up early tomorrow morning, we recommend going to bed early tonight. I felt pumped up. <laughs> I was, 
was like, ah. <laughs> All right, he's 128 over 79 and 56. I still have goosebumps. Yeah, and the redness is the vasal dilation. That's that blood rushing back through your body. So you had a really good freeze. Okay, so, so usually what you see in the numbers, I mean, everybody's body reacts differently to cold. But usually what we see is a 10 to 20 point increase in the systolic first number, um, and that indicates the vasal constriction. Really the only accurate way to do it would be to take it, you know, the second you get it out, but everybody's naked, so you can't really do that. Mm -hmm. So we do, the, you know, take it as quickly as possible. And then you see a two to 10 beat per minute decrease in the heart rate, because as the body gets cold, the heart rate slows down to a typical reaction. So your systolic went up um, 11 points from 117 to 128, and your heart rate came down eight beats per minute from 64 to 56. Classic you freeze. You had a really good classic freeze. All right. All right. Big thanks to my friends out there at CryoFit San Antonio for taking great care of me. I'll put a link to their business in the description below, so make sure you check them out. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time.